I bring in all the wishes and greetings to you, Dr. Uh, Tina Nath, for scoring rank number one uh, in MCH OBG Group NEET SS 2022 session. Best wishes and congratulations to you. Thank you, sir. Doctor, can we know about your brief background from where you are coming from and where you did your UG post graduation and uh, what motivated you to do uh, superficiality? Uh, sir, I did my MBBS from Assam Medical College, Dibrugarh. And okay. then I did my uh, post graduation from Guwahati Medical College. I passed out in 2018. And then I joined uh, Guwahati Medical College as a registrar in 2018. And I have been working in Guwahati Medical College since then. So uh, your uh, idea of uh, superficiality was before PG or during uh, your uh, post-graduation? During PG also I wanted, but immediately after uh, finishing my post-graduation, I thought I'll uh, take a year off and uh, because residency is very hectic. And then again, I think uh, I started preparing from 2020. Okay. I wanted to do this uh, gynec oncology right from my PG time. I was very sure I want to do. do it. So when did you start? How did you start? And what were your preparation strategies? How many hours you're putting for this efforts per day? <laughs> I did. Actually, um, actually, my hospital is very hectic. So I did not get uh, so much of time. But I used to uh, study regularly. So a little bit of time I used to study every day. Okay. And because I'm in a college and I have to take classes myself. So I think that helped because I, uh, I would have to take classes. So I have to keep reading and revising. So some things were quite easy for me, but some things I, I gave the, this is my third attempt. I gave in 2020 and 21. So I came to know my weak points. So I started working on my weak points and I'm, I'm uh, very thankful to speed all the faculties because uh, I, was, uh, I was not able to do as good last two years. But this year, I think I could just crack it because I had this uh, speed faculty team and the teachers were very, very good. So what was the difference for 20, 21 and 22? I mean, what difference you found in a preparation strategy? Actually... 2020, I had just, I, I had read everything, all the books. I had read all the standard post-graduation books. But I didn't prepare as such uh, uh, for 2020. For 2021, I did MCQs. I prepared MCQs and all. But I felt like I was weak in certain areas. Like reproductive medicine, I was weak at. And uh, some topics of obstetrics, I was weak. And some topics of obstetrics, I was uh, good. I did not have to uh, think much. I was, uh, because those were actually, uh, I was dealing with them regularly. So uh, this year, my preparation was very targeted. So focus. That made the, yes, focus. So that made the difference. So were you able to go through all the videos in the speed learning app? Yes, sir. I did go through uh, videos from different different faculties but in the end I think I just revised Revati ma'am's and Sunanda ma'am's live videos which we had attended so finally at the end I revised twice I revised those videos can you share something about the paper which was asked I mean in 150 questions how much was general how much was onco how much was infertility some percentage ballpark figure something and uh, what was the standard Something like that, you can give some inputs. I felt a uh, lot of questions were very basic. Like, a lot of questions were very basic. And uh, some questions, definitely, they were tough, I would say, uh, which requires, like, proper preparation. But most of the questions, I felt a lot of practical questions had come, like questions related to obstetrics. And, you know, management, emergency management in the labor room, emergency management. A lot of questions were related like that. So those actually, I could answer them because I'm working. working, working. <laughs> nice. How many questions were you, did you attempt? Uh, 147. Oh, almost full paper. So only three questions didn't three deserve. Questions I didn't answer. 
okay so what will be your take home message for the students what what do you want to tell them for those aspiring for uh, mcs super speciality in gainacongo yes i would say that uh, i feel uh, what we prepare for post graduation that is kind of enough but uh, maybe just a little bit a little bit more than that but if the basic pg course is done properly i think 90% is covered and for that 10% i think you, they will have to find out what their weak points are and then work on them because i gave the exam two times i knew that you know these are the questions i am not able to answer and these are the questions that i can answer easily so uh, i i did not study for uh, like long times i did i took 3 days leave before my exam and in those three days i tried to revise everything as much as possible uh, especially what i'm weak at so that i think i would tell them that only that you know they have if you know what you are weak at and you work at that and rest i think the basic pg course the basic books williams 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 berkin hackers those are quite uh, more than enough doctor if you can remember what was your score in 2020 which uh, rank you remember 2020 i don't remember 2021 i was something like 110 uh, 11 2021 2021 2021 and 2020 one exam on 2022 2021 i remember okay 2020 i i forgot okay so there was a lot of migration and a huge migration from whatever the rank <laughs> to rank number 1 so i think it's a great occasion and a great feeling and uh, and you are really blessed and your perseverance and hard work gave you the results for three consecutive years you are on on to it and you want to do it and you have done it and you are a huge inspiration for lot many students who are looking into this video thank uh, you sir and i would also like to take this opportunity to thank the faculty of speed because really i have I I have told this today to Revathi ma'am also because uh, I I I'm very uh, very thankful because she is such a great teacher and uh, I'm very indebted I'm very indebted I will I'll I'll convey to her and uh, she will also looking in, look come into the video and she'll be very happy uh, to look into the video as well yes sir. and I also take inspiration from her when I'm taking classes great great doctor and uh, really happy and on behalf of the entire faculty team and faculty members and speed management wish you all the very best and a great success in years to come and as a great gynec oncologist and we look up on to you and keep inspiring us always thank you very much for joining thank us you, sir. thank you thank so you. much thank you doctor thank you